Hi there, I'm Nathan from 3000 RPM. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can increase the hard drive capacity of your laptop and also put in a bit of extra RAM memory to make your computer run a bit quicker. I'll show you this step by step so that you can see exactly what you need to do and you'll be able to do it with no problems at all. So let's get started. So before you begin, I'll just have a little talk about what the two different things are that you could be changing in your laptop. First of all, the hard drive. This is commonly referred to as memory, but this is the storage capacity of your hard drive. And the larger the hard drive you have, the more space you have for documents, photos and videos and programs. If you are replacing this, you need to make sure you back up all your files so that you can access them from elsewhere. RAM memory, on the other hand, is for performance of your laptop and the speed at which it runs. And the more RAM that you have installed, the quicker your computer can perform and the more programs can be open at once without your computer stalling or crashing. To gain access to these, you'll need to turn your laptop over onto the other side. So this is where all the access panels are. And before you start, it's definitely worth just removing the battery and that way you know that there's no power to any of your components and your laptop isn't turned on. I'm going to start by the RAM and this is usually located underneath a screw removable panel. So just unscrew the screw and you'll be able to lift away the panel and see the circuit board which is your RAM memory underneath. Usually it's un under its own panel, but it may be amongst other components, so look carefully at what it looks like. To release it, there are two spring-loaded catches at the sides. You just need to pull these outwards and the circuit board will lift up at an angle away from the computer. And then you can just pull it out of the contact board and that will be the memory completely free. You can put that to one side and bring in your new RAM memory. Just line the two up so that you can see the two contacts. There's a shorter section and a longer section and you need to make sure that's lined up as the other one was so that it fits back into the contact bar inside the laptop. To put it back in, it's just the reverse of what you did to take it out. So you're going to slide it into the contact bar at an angle and then carefully push down and the two spring-loaded catches will grab at the side of the RAM and it's all secure. As soon as you've finished doing that you can just screw back on the panel to cover it over and that is your new memory installed. Here's how to replace a hard drive. On this particular model there's two screws and then it slides out the side but you will find on some different laptops it might be underneath the panel in a similar way to the RAM. The easiest way to identify the hard drive is to look right next to the screws and usually there's a small picture of a cylinder which identifies this as being the hard drive memory. To remove it you need to unscrew these screws and then on this particular model the hard drive will slide out from the side. Some it will just lift out in a similar way to how the RAM was. Once you've removed that completely, you can have a look at it compared to a different kind of hard drive just here. You can see there's an extra part at the top which fills in the gap and that will need putting onto your new hard drive as well. Here's a look at the two types of hard drive. On the left hand side is a SATA, S-A-T-A, -A, and on the right hand side is an IDE connector. The contacts are very different, so you'll need to make sure you get the correct type for your laptop when you're ready to replace it. Once you've swapped over everything, you can reinsert the hard drive however it came out, and then screw back in these two screws to hold it all securely in place. Make sure you do put both of these screws back so that all the contacts are held in securely. 
that is your new hard drive and RAM installed and your computer should recognize these automatically as soon as you turn it back on. So that was how to increase the memory capacity of your old laptop. It's much simpler to do than people think and you will have no problems doing it yourself at home. If you have any questions at all on this, please do comment on this video or check out our Facebook or Twitter pages.